Hi friends, this is Butch and Ann at Sand Hollow Homestead in Sand Hollow, Idaho. Today we're working on one of our banana squash. One of the ends was getting rather uh, soft. I'm going to cut that off. and uh, But we're going to process it. And now we don't uh, peel it. Uh, we're going to pressure cook it uh, with the peel. And then we'll take out the pulp. And we'll run it, we might run it through a strainer. But I, I just wanted to talk a little bit about this, this you know, process of, of using your uh, squash. You can can this squash. You can freeze this squash. Yep. And you can eat it. And, uh, oh my, with a little brown sugar, that's really good. Uh, this squash is a banana squash. And it's, uh, it's considered a winter squash. And um, it really uh, will last a long time uh, through the winter, so it stores really well. If you're looking for a squash good size, you know, for the same amount of water that you put into small squash, you can have a banana squash. And I've raised them where they was a foot in diameter, and they was 34 inches uh, long. So what I'm saying is the right... The right uh, fertilizer and watering and whatnot, um, and that uh, that year, the vines went up a six foot fence down the six foot fence, and out 15 feet from that fence, and it had banana squash all along that hanging and on the ground. So these are very robust; they'll grow well in uh, arid. Uh, areas like our high prairie desert desert here at 2500 uh, feet and the uh, squash is uh, well it's got a lot of nice big gigantic seed in it so we're going to save that and uh, one seed can make a tremendous amount can you imagine if we planted all those seeds Whew. be enough for the county I think but anyhow, that's pretty thick. You can see my my hand, you know, uh, right there is three fingers wide, and uh, that's pretty. That's a lot of meat, a lot of squash meat. So what I'm doing is I'm moving that over to our canner. Yeah, this is a full size canner, and uh, putting it in there, and we'll put a little water in there, and then uh, we'll uh, steam it. And uh, we're going to cook this for about 30 to 45 minutes, and it should be good and, and soft, and then we can scrape it right out of the skin. Now, you can use this in soups, just like you would uh, butternut squash. It's, it's a really good flavor. And of course, like I say, the side benefit is the seeds that you're going to pull out of there. They're giants. And uh, the bigger the seed, I'm guessing, the better the squash. So this is going to take a while to uh, pressure cook and then can, but uh, it's well worth it. And uh, that's, uh, that's good fiber and it's good protein. And uh, I got to get going. Now I have a bunch more in our shed. Our pantry shed and then of course I have a, a lot of the uh, Waltham butternut squash as well and uh, butternut uh, usually is small enough that we can eat those up uh, in a day or two and uh, but these this is something that you're going to put up um, or share or whatever because it goes a long ways so think about that if you're going to raise a squash and you want to put it up, you know, preserve uh, that squash the same amount of water, same amount of time, and you can grow a giant squash. Think about it. Well, we'll talk to you later. So this is one banana squash, and it really wasn't that big. Uh, it was a good size, but it wasn't the this is biggest. This big pot. Yeah, it's 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 a good sized pot, and this is, as you can see, it's filled it up pretty good. So we're uh, gonna have to get that down. I think. There we go. 
I think now we're pretty close. That's some nice squash, and there's going to be a lot to put up. So, on, on to some more work. Okay. Now, these seeds aren't dried yet, but that kind of gives you an idea. There's quite a bit there. And uh, each one of those will produce a half dozen or more. I don't know, quite a bit. It depends on how long it gets and how you develop your soil and how happy that root system is. Being it's winter, it's a winter uh, squash, so you can get it in early. You may have to protect it some when it's young, but um, you can get it in earlier. And it can grow a lot longer, you know, into when everything else is not happy. Uh, this, uh, what I like to do is I like to run it, uh, my winter squash, I like to let it stay in the garden until the first frost. Not a hard freeze, but a first frost. All right. So I'll show you what we've got once, it, once they dry. What you doing, Ann? I'm saucing my banana squash. Put in the jars to can. And it's a mess. I've got it everywhere. Okay, we got all the jars filled, all seven quarts, and we're going to bring it up to 12 uh, PSI, and then uh, we're going to cook it for 45 minutes. Uh, I had to ask my wife, couldn't remember. So I better turn the temp down. Because I think we're ready to rock and roll. And then set the uh, timer. Well, this is the results. And uh, these jars are quart jars. And uh, that is banana squash in there. That one squash did seven quarts. Plus it gave us two large containers of the uh, liquid off of the squash. We use the liquid for soups. Uh, it's, it's good stuff. Vitamins. Why not? So take advantage of a uh, fast-growing large squash. I'm not saying don't uh, grow the other ones, the small ones. Your spaghetti squashes and your summer squashes and and all that but uh, add this to your family of squash and and uh, move it away from you know everything else and then uh, watch it grow and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised it really tastes good I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, come back again see you now